Hi everyone, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today I have a card for their Stamp Timber event. This is a collaboration between Simon Says Stamp and Hero Arts. This is their Prayers stamp set and coordinating die. I use the stamps today and not the die, but this card design would look just as awesome with substituting the die cut word prayers instead of the stamped word. I'm going to create some watercolor backgrounds using the ink smushing technique. I am using chipped sapphire, peacock feathers, and twisted citron distress ink. Spritzing it a time or two there on my craft sheet. You don't want to get it too saturated. It depends on the look you're going for. You can definitely um, use as little or as much water as you want. And then I am ink smooshing it to some watercolor cardstock that I have already trimmed down and it's going to give you a different look every time. Now I am creating multiple cards here. I'm going to do three with this same style. I'm just going to change up the greeting a little bit on each one. I recommend cleaning up after each time. Go ahead and repress those inks onto your Ranger craft sheet. Spritz them about two spritzes of water each. Place that scrap piece of acetate over the ink to pick it up and then transfer that right to that watercolor cardstock. And I like to press it around, pick it up, and then if I think it needs to be moved anywhere or I need to move any of the ink anywhere, you can definitely press that a couple more times. Here's another example. All three backgrounds are slightly different. And then I'm just going to kind of press that around a few times to make sure that I have it filled in the way I want it to look. Once I have all of those colored, I'm going to set those aside to air dry for just a little bit. The great thing about this technique is it doesn't really take that long to air dry. I'm going to go ahead and grab that large scripty word prayers. I love that Hero Arts has all of these stamp sets that come with kind of a bigger bolder word and generally a die cut word as well and then they have a whole bunch of um, coordinating phrases so that you can mix and match them to create your own custom greeting. I'm doing this kind of assembly line style. I did all my backgrounds. Now I'm going to stamp the word prayers to each of these. Big bold and black there. Make sure it's nice and crisp and easy to read and then I will grab some of those coordinating phrases and I'm going to just stamp a different one on each card. This first one is sending hugs and prayers. The next one is going to be prayers and then I this had two phrases. It, I love that it'll go around that Y so prayers to you and your family and finally I'm going to have you're in my prayers. Once I have all of those stamped I am done with all of the phrases or greetings. I'm going to grab the hearts from the prayers stamp set. There are quite a few here and I'm going to start stamping those with Versamark ink. I'm just going to lay out a few of them here and kind of see if that was what I liked. That little one was sticking to my fingers pretty good. I'm going to grab some little acrylic blocks now and just start stamping those hearts. And I'm going to be heat embossing all of these with the Ranger Liquid Platinum Embossing Powder. I thought it would look really nice with the colors of the background. It gives it a really nice kind of elegant look. I'm going to add the embossing powder after I stamp each heart just so that I can see where I have been exactly. And that way I don't accidentally stamp one heart over another. And I will keep doing this until I have all of my hearts stamped and then I will heat emboss that and I will do the same thing for the other two panels. I find when I am doing sets of cards like this that it is much, much easier to do it assembly line style. It makes it go fast and I always think if you already have all the supplies out anyway and it's a great card design that would make multiples to go ahead and do those while you have everything out. After I have heat embossed those hearts there you can see how great those look in the background. I'm going to finish with a little scattering of the sparkling clear pretty pink posh sequins in both this six millimeter and four millimeter size. 
I will attach those with the Zots bling glue dots. These are little teeny tiny glue dots that work great with things like sequins. I love them so that there isn't any glue that squishes out from underneath the sequins. Had a little trouble there with that one sticking to my fingernail. Go ahead and figure out where I want to add. I couldn't figure out <laughs> where I wanted to place that one, I guess. It looks kind of funny when it's sped up. After I've done that, I'm going to take one of the four bar note cards from Simon Says Stamp and attach the panels with some nice strong adhesive to each of these cards and they are all finished. These are a nice small size card, a little bit smaller than the standard A2 size. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the Simon Says Stamp and Hero Arts Collaboration Stamp Timber Stamp Set and dies called Prayers. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.